Hey guys, that's Radu. So, uh, this is an update on the uh, wide body Austin Healy. So, what do you see here? I'm working on this uh, different type of front end. So, more likely I'm gonna go with this uh, shape right here. But the only thing that I'm probably gonna do, as you can see, I remarked it here. I'm probably gonna go more closer, more like here. And then bring that fender more this way. Um, and then I'm gonna put this uh, little front scoop over there. That's probably gonna look good, of course. Gotta probably cut that to match the body, something like that. You know, round it off, make it look cool. Um, got a new grill there. It's in process. As you can see, that I used to have this was different. It was more up to like right here like that. And so that's out the door. And I came up with this one. And I liked it until I made the other one there. So you can see that this is already marked to be cut like the rest of it. But even this is wrong because I'm bringing it more closer. So, uh, yep. Lights are gone. No more lights. Scoop is gone. This fender is uh, going a little bit different direction. And I compare it to this fender. So you got this fender, you can see I got this little sharp edge here coming down this way like that. And uh, I'm making it on this side more straight out this way. Uh, that's, that's that. Um, this side again, completely different from the other side, still got the side skirt, and you can see what's happening here, I made this um, back wheel vent or whatever they call it, uh, going much larger than the other side, and believe it or not, this is still foam and still holding, not yet fiberglass on it. This little hat on top here, and that's because I'm planning to actually get it more around it here, more like that, you know. So, and then this way, like this, and that's one. Another thing I'm thinking of probably coming out like this and bringing like a little bump right here, but that'll be next time. Um, oh, yeah, there you go, so little 57. 57 grill there, my feather working on it. It's the back, not much change in the back. Same old crop here, but maybe we can see a little better. There you go. So, uh, last video, I think it was like, you know, it used to look like that in the back. Well, not really, but I'm gonna go with this right here. Still got no mufflers because I'm not working on the motor yet. So we're still keeping the double lights, nothing changes there. Um, and I'm trying, those are 20 inch rims. I'm trying something new on that. Um, they look kind of cool, but I'm wondering about the weight. So uh, uh, we'll see about that. Another thing that I want to do here is I'm going to do those little bubbles here behind the chairs there'll be a double bubble instead of having this they'll be a little bit higher so we'll see how that's going to come out um this thing oops. this thing i already pretty much had it done i thought for sure i'm staying this way but as you can see this comes out cut the holes all the way through but it fits perfectly in there but like I said it was just a trial to get me to this position so uh, um, yeah the wind chill made this this is made out of fiberglass let me see I can show you the other one Basically, 
we've got this one still fiberglass it's this is for the uh, driver side and I got this one over here and what I did I changed I changed the angle here I changed it more towards me so from more upright you know and taller I shorten it down and change the angle so uh, uh, it's not finished yet you know my plan on this thing is gonna be and it's fiberglass now but I'm gonna coat it with the uh, carbon fiber over it so it's gonna look really nice and cool um, yep see my n3 which is right there <laughs> yeah, in the process um, yeah those wheels they're still dirty and still here but I think we're probably gonna go oh yeah I lifted the car off the ground yeah it's still a zoo it's not on a platform I, I just had to lift it because this uh, this uh, hood or whatever front part of the car kind of flips over you know like a race car so um, that's probably gonna stay maybe um, but most that I'm kind of pumped up about it so is uh, this front right here definitely gonna go with this, something like that can't wait just gotta move on and just get it done and uh, I don't know how good you can see this but uh, that's that's the stage I'm in right now so uh, yeah no more no more uh, headlights I think it looks much better oh oh yeah and I'm working on probably putting maybe headlights right here just kind of like maybe create my own headlights and uh, and just kind of go in this position I've been looking for anything that is really cool or just looks good but I don't know how it look on the car or even to test it out three four hundred dollars five hundred dollars or some so it's just nuts and I'm not gonna put just any crappy lights in there uh, what else let's see in the back yeah um, I'm not gonna do anything I'm not changing anything here yet until uh, I do those two little bubbles I call them whatever they are I don't know but I think they're gonna look cool and then I have to see what's gonna happen to this part right here if I like it or do I go back believe it or not I almost had this fender looking like that but before I say yes and you can see this is not finished down yet. not even close but uh, I don't care I'm going at it so uh, inside the car still still look crappy dusty let's see if we can even zoom inside yeah let me see how it look you're gonna have to trust me on that uh, shit. I think it's 80 82 82,300 82 no 82,000 yeah I need my reading glasses but somewhere around 80 some thousand uh, on this uh, baby um, it will be too much work with one hand to try to open to look at the engine but maybe next time and you can see but that's how you do it See, it's like if you have some imperfections, you know, that doesn't look good, you just put some more and then you can cut them off and uh, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, this fender is nowhere near, but I don't know. You can see that definitely going in a different direction. You could do a little work over here on this uh, support for the um, windshield. Yeah, but I've been busy, you know, working, 
prospecting, gold digging, whatever you want to call it, and work and work on the house. So really the car has been, and then I got this 57 Chevy truck that I'm working on, and that kind of takes some work on, you know. Uh, look at this fender right here. It's going to take some work. I cut it all stripped out, but I still got to work on straightening up every little dance, and uh, it's got a little bit right here, some issues, so I got to fix that. But, uh, yeah yeah so that's an update let me know what you think about the wheel yay nay I mean it fits nicely in the front and in the back and those are 20 inches all right yeah 20 inches yeah so um, 20 inches wheels and uh, but I don't know how I'll be able to turn with those in the front, so they're like 20 and gee, they, they had the uh, uh, what was it? 3 something, 325 or 3, 335 or something like <laughs> that. So it was really, really wide, you know, so uh and as you can see, they're sticking just about right. They fit the contour pretty good, you know. Uh, but, yeah. Still excited. Still going at it as I have the time. This color, a lot of people are asking, is like, well, how'd you put that on? Blah, blah, blah. Well, as you can see, you have a protection over. And you can use bondo and stuff and then paint but it's just for an idea just to play around it gets boring after all looking at that great primer um, but uh, yeah I gotta fix that grill get that thing there's gonna be many things changing but I might be going in this direction so yeah let me know about the light too what do you guys think uh, kind of put in it like that I was thinking it was like maybe one or double. And have maybe a turn signal here. Maybe. Um, I got a sample of a windshield, but you know, until I install the two sides, I'm not ready yet to put it on. So, um, yeah. Alright, that's it, guys. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for subbing. Let me know if you got any questions. Well,. Enjoying your project. Have fun. Until next time.